Hey guys, welcome to Dark Souls. We're going to be playing Dark Souls Perfect to Die Edition. Uh, I, I did try to record this just earlier, but it all tapped me. We're going to be called Lord Chris with a capital K. And we're going to go, yeah, that's cool, man. And we're going to be male. Well, it could be female. Changing gender. We'll call it other. Yeah, I don't care. See, so we're going to be female or male. It's not a huge amount of difference, but I'm going to be male because I am male. Gonna be the warrior because I dislike all these guys' weapons. They all have terrible starting weapons. All of them. Every single one of them. Terrible starting weapons. Warrior starts with a long sword, which is a great sword. You're not getting either of these two rings. You can find them later on, but we're getting last key because you can't find that later on. It makes the game a lot easier. Because you don't have to pick up some of the keys that you normally do. Yes, it's okay to start with this character, and we're going to start in the Age of the Ancients. Move that mouse out of the way so you don't see that. No one likes mouse. The world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, large trees, and everlasting dragons. Yep. Look at the everlasting dragon. So sort of everlasting. Fire. Yep. And that was with fire. fire came disparity. With fire came the ability to have nobles and not nobles. And cold. King life and peasants. And death. Undead and alive. And of course. Light and dark. What? There could be darkness with light? That's impossible. So before, clearly, there wasn't darkness, then, apparently. It was dark, all just this weird twilight. It wasn't bright or dark, somehow. Found the souls of lords within well, the flame. I suppose if you were born in darkness, you wouldn't be able to tell lightness or darkness. No. Nito, the first of the day. Hey, Nito, how you doing, man? You cool? You cool. Me and him go way back. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. That's a lot, guys. And his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Oh, crazy humans who picked up the scraps. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty threats do the heart their stone skills. He's using miracles. The witches weaved great firestorms. They're using pyromancy. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. He's just cheating. The scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Oh, see. Such a crazy guy. Thus began the Age of Fire. And what a beautiful age it was. I remember back in my day, so back when we did the, the Age of Fire. Yes. And only dark will well, remain. Not darkness. I don't want the darkness to remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. Oh, poor dead guy. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. What? Impossible. Asylum. Look at these yes, guys. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. 
Mwah. And in this land, can't wait for Dark Souls 2 to come out PC. It's gonna be fun. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Bring out your dead. Where they are locked away. Bring out your dead. The end of the world. Bring out your dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yes, I got one dead person here. I'm not this dead. Is yes, you are. Is, is she dead or not? Yes, she's dead. No, I'm not. Is she dead or not? Yes, she's dead. No, I'm not. Bonk. Yeah, she's dead. No, I'm not. All right, now, is she dead or not? Yes, she's dead. <laughs> oh, Monty Python. Such a great show. I really want to watch that now. That's a very terrible rendition by me though, but meh. Hey there, guy. You're such a nice guy. I hope you don't die to a random asylum demon. That'd be nice. Dun 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 dun. Uh, I guess straight away get rid of this and this so I'm actually nice and light. Pick up Zeki. That was dropped by a mysterious man. And now we run. Run, 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 run. We look to the right and we go, oh, hello. Hello, Shiren Demon. You have a big axle there. Do you think I could have your giant axle? No? Okay. Bye bye. See you, guy. I'm gonna run over here. And you're gonna see, like, whoa, you can target on the people. See, target and untarget. Pretty cute. And climb up ladders, too. Didn't tell us how to do that though, we just had to work it out ourselves. What terrible tutorial system, oh my god. No one is game so bad. Light bonfire. And ignore bonfire. Opens the gate. Slowly walk forward. Doop de doop de doop de doop de doop de doop de doop. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. <gasps> oh no! Hmm. I made it just in time. He almost got me, guys. <laughs> like next bonfire. Then continue to ignore bonfires even exist. Get your shield. Okay. Gonna dodge that shot. Then run this way. And then he shoots and he runs this way. And he runs away even though I have nothing equipped. What a crazy guy. You can pick up your long sword, you equip long sword, you equip shield, and you continue on. And here goes, I'm gonna get ya. Yeah, I'm gonna get ya. And you dodge. And you oh. So I can dodge again. Oh. Probably should have locked on there instead of trying to go for the backstab, but oh well. And you're meant to be hearing like a. And you go, whoa, how'd he get in there? Ah, crazy. Like, this gate's all broken, so you clearly can't get in that way. Well, there's no door here. I don't even know what this rock, that weird wall's like there. Yeah, let's go go up here. Oh no, it's a bowling ball! Oh! Well, let's go inside here now, I guess. Hey, guy. How you oh, doing? You. You're no hollow. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, oh, there, man. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps okay. you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my mm -hmm. family. Thou who, in thine exodus from the Thou island of the sun, is chosen. maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the faith of the undead thou shalt know. He fell down from up there. You know, Poor guy. And I can die with hope in my heart. I hope oh, you can. One more thing. Here, take this. What are you going to give me, guy? An you going to give me some sunkist? An undead favorite. Oh, thanks for sunkist, guy. Oh, and this. Oh, more gifts? You're so kind. Now I must bid farewell. I'm farewell. I'm to harm you after death. So go now. Alright, I'll you. go now. Uh, let's do the old bow, because you gotta be, you got to be polite to these guys. I mean, he did free you from this terrible asylum, so 
you know, gotta have a little bit of dignity. You can open the door down the bottom there if you wanted to, but there's no point. Oh, I did bad. I didn't get the backstab. Pound noob. Oh well. Read message. Oh, I can do kicks and these sorts of things. Lunging attacks is what it's called. Oh, I did it too early. I did the bad. See that sweet ass roll? Did you see that sweet ass take the arrow to the face? No, oh, well. Look, exactly 200 souls. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. For you, you wanna like attack? Fine, you jerk. Now we're using Estus. Uh, this is not gonna be a 100% perfect playthrough. I wish it would be, but I'm not that skilled. There are people who are that skilled, namely Epic Nambro, he's a pretty damn good player at this. Swap to single hand, and fall. And throw, ow. One, two, three, row. Wait a bit, wait a bit, try and get behind him. Of course, he's doing this again. One, two, roll. Ah, uh, didn't roll. I'm the bad player. Get some sun kissed. And then you just finish him off. He's pretty easy to beat. If you have trouble on this guy, just use a shield. <laughs> I know. He's one of those guys who you kind of just like a hug the belly. Now you notice I don't have. Oh, I do get both souls now. Oh well. I wasn't sure if you get them after a little bit or once you open these doors. But now I know. Very depressing. Wow, good job. Go straight ahead. Thanks, game. You're so kind to me. I don't know why everyone was complaining about this game being so hard. It's so easy. Just gonna pick up this here. Which is a just in case sort of thing. I should have enough for two levels up, or three levels up. But if I don't, I'm gonna make sure I do. Now let's go get picked up by such a nice guy. I call him Only Crackle. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. What? Undeads get chosen? I've already been told that you get chosen. Oh. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lord the ancient lords? Lordran? Lords and Lordran? That's crazy. Whee! Pretty little birdie. You eventually get picked up by this guy and get sent back to the asylum later in the game. Much, much later in the game. But for now, he puts us here. And we get the sullen warrior over there. And we get an achievement for just going here. Now we rest this good old bonfire. We want to level up some endurance. And we should have like hardly any souls, which is good. We well, can talk to this guy, he's gonna tell us about here? Bell. You let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late. He's not moving his mouth. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. That one's up above cool. in the undead church. And basically he tells us there's a bell up above, like that direction somewhere, you can't really see it through that tree. There's no one down below and around that direction which you can't see. But yeah, right now we're just going to pick up some items and we're going to talk to a few more NPCs. And then we're going to pick up some items and talk to some more NPCs. 
Hello there. So we talk to this guy. He's a priest who's I waiting for no. another undead to guide around. And he's gonna give us a oh, copper oh, coin, which does so absolutely nothing for us. And Very he can well. tell us teach us miracles as long as you're a part of this covenant. Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts. Probably should have joined this covenant. That was a mistake, but oh well. It doesn't matter. We learn a gesture from him. And we can also learn some miracles. And the miracle that we do kind of want to get from him is heal eventually, but that's a while away. And we can buy talismans from him, but there's no point. Because we can find the talisman literally two feet away from him. Which is from his stash, actually. So we go up here. Pick up this item here. You can jump across there, but there's not much point from this angle. You want to jump up top and then run across and jump on top of the building over there so you can get an item. But that's a while away, so don't worry about that for now. I'll show that off a little bit later. Probably going to take some attempts at it, but meh. Pick up this one, most important. This is Homewood Bones. Over here is Cracked Red Eye Orbs, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, this is Monarch Stone Talisman. This one's Cracked Red Eye Orbs. The talisman allows us to use those miracles that you can buy from that guy. Who I was just talking to. And lastly, but not least, right here is Lloyd's talisman. Which is used on mimics to make them not attack you. I'm gonna roll off here. Run this way. I'm gonna pick up some items. There is an item over here that I'm going to miss, but if you really need to you can pick it up there's a binoculars over there I'm not gonna pick the binoculars up because it's gonna get me killed and I'd rather not die oh I actually got hit that was weird pick up the winged spear that's actually the important item that I want to pick up here careful of this guy because he gets left behind a lot there's another thing over there it's the soul item of a large soul there's that crow that took you to the undead asylum and some guys following me right now so I'm not going to spend too long just dithering around. What you can do, like an awesome badass, you can jump over that little wall there. And jumping mechanics a little bit weird, you got to do like a sprint and then you got to sit down. Oh, it won't let me. Come on, guy. trying to get him to not be gay. There's a parry. He's still up. So I gotta wait for him to get up. Right. Hopefully this will allow me to see this fire. Yep. Good out. Now next we're gonna equip our homeward bone. And we're gonna head down this way. I'm gonna drop just a little bit here, like so. And we're gonna run across here. And we're gonna get our first important item of the game. Of course, once we go down here. There's another NPC down here that I'm going to talk to, which is very important for a lot of people playing this game. It's a very important guy that you'll probably miss if you didn't know that's here, but I'm gonna show him off. Uh, first of all, you wanna Drop down here, run across here, pick up this item here, it's a soul item, it'll give you 200 soul points. Next, you're going to run this way, and we're going to be heading up there soon. Um, I did forget to do something, which is going to sort of stand later, but that's not important. Over here, over here, there is a guy in a jail cell. Uh, he's Rickon, he's a friend of... A Prince who wanders these lands, but he got in prison and his friend didn't. He doesn't want to actually leave, so he's going to stay in here. He can reinforce your weapons like a blacksmith, and from him you can purchase soul arrow. Very important if you're a sorcerer. 
you should start with cell arrow if you're a sorcerer, but if you need that heavy cell arrow straight from the start, you go to him and buy it. I'm not going to go up there straight away, that was wrong way. I'll be going up there soon. Very, very, very soon, but not right now. For now, we're going to pick up this item here, which is the S-Dock. Which is a dexterity mail breaking item. I think you may style for with one guy. It's not that good. Like, this is much better. That's why I picked this guy, but... It does have... Good thrusting attacks. It's good for parrying with. But... Not nearly good enough to my liking. I prefer a long sword, which has a dedicated thrash, I mean, thrust and slash. Knock that guy out of his pot and pick up his transient curse, which does allow us to hit these ghosty ghosts over here. But we're not actually going to use that to hit the ghosty ghosts. We're just going to run through them because we can't really beat them, much like those skeletons that we just ran through before. They were impossible for us to easily kill. Like, we can kill them, but it'll take forever, and it's not worth it. We can come back here much later with better stuff. But what we're going to do is run across this little bridge here, very precariously. We're going to pick up this item, use the homeward bone to go back to our place, and they're going to just be like, Oh, he left us! Oh, how could he leave us like that? And then, we're not going to rest in the bonfire. Because there's no point at the moment and we haven't lost any HP. All we've done is use a homeward bone. We're going to talk to this lady who's the firekeeper. She can't speak unless we have the old witch's ring. And she's going to reinforce our Eskis flask because she's a nice lady. And then we're going to leave her. If you have the old witch's ring, you can talk to them. Those firekeepers. There's one firekeeper in Enolando which isn't really a firekeeper. Like she is, but she isn't. Because I'm pretty sure fire keepers aren't allowed to talk unless you have the old witch's ring. And I think it's like meant to be like all the fire keepers were um, that chaos lady's daughters. They're the fire keepers. But I'm not 100% sure on that. And that's just a weird guess of mine. Probably completely wrong. Probably just random people who have the ability to keep fires. But we're going to go back down here again. And we're gonna do a little bit of shield playing with. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now what we're gonna do is stand off the button, walk across the button, and we walk out, and we'll go up. Do not fall down there, you will die. So be careful while doing that, and remember which way it is. Now we're gonna go up these stairs to the right here. And we're gonna come very close to ending this first video. Assuming we complete this run. Now if you don't have the master key, you can't open this door. Unless you go through Blight Town and come back through that direction and come across here and then you can open this door. I recommend just getting the master key so you can open the door straight away from this side. And you pick up a larger nameless soldier just behind that door. It's pretty good to pick it up pretty early. We are going to use these all these souls in the next episode to get some items from a shopkeeper. First shopkeeper you meet there, actually. And we're going to show you a little bit of an off-camera bit here. I'm going to have to cut this in somehow. Don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but if you pick up any of these items here, one's a magical sword and one's a shield, you will get attacked by this dragon that's supposedly dead. As you can see, he's completely inanimate at the moment as I'm inside him. You can pick up this one without any worry. So do that. And if you want that magical sword and that shield, do be wary, it requires more faith to use that. So if you're going a faith build, that's certainly a thing you can pick up straight away. It is quite useful, at least until you get the Drake Sword, if you're going that sort of route. Uh, for now, we're going to sprint past these dragon guys. Ah, that's not good, I died. I can't believe I got hit. <laughs> oh well. That's not a big deal. I'll cut this video back to there. Alright, we're back here. And here we go, second attempt. Roll. Very. Oh my god! Uh. Ow. Mess this up quickly. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 
Oh god, do you mind? Oh my god. Run, 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 run. This way. Run this way. Oh jeez. Pick up items. Ooh. Jeez. Oh jeez. Run. No. Oh god. Climb. Go, 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 go. Whew. Oh man. <laughs> And that's how you do that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Look at them all. They're so crazy. And you pick up this. And then you could use a homeward bone from up here. But I don't really care about this 150 souls, so. Whee! You died. But yeah, that's how you get that item, and this is going to be the end of the first video. On the next video, we're going to go through Undeadburg and hopefully do well in the game. He's a little spirit of a hollowed guy who's just standing here like so. I shall be that hollowed guy too. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.